What's going on guys? We're back at it again, but this is going to be a very tiny series. Probably like a three episode series because we're going to go and get our new companions with the release of High Isle. This one in particular is going to be the start of Ember's quest line. And then we're going to move on with uh, Isabel's quest line after that. So I'm really excited guys. I'm really stoked at the release of High Isle. So of course we're going to be getting our new companions to start it off. If you're excited though, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, let's jump into this. This should be it. What is going on here? Steer clear of Tor Dreok, stranger. Those strange moats are everywhere. I saw one of them turn a cow into a person. I'm getting out of here before one of them gets me. I'm not spending the rest of my days as a farm animal. Um, what's wrong? I don't know. I was just trying to cut through the area around the old wizard's tower there when I spotted those strange moats. It was chaos. Unnatural things started happening, and then one of the moats started chasing me. Uh, do things like that happen at Torch Dive? That word often? No, not that I've ever seen. And I take that shortcut almost every day. The magister who lives there and his Khajiit assistant, Ember, are nice enough. I hope they're all right. But I'm not crazy enough to go back. You look brave. Maybe you could? Uh, I'll go see. Well, what's going on at Tor di di Diarrhea? Okay, help Amber restore order to Tor Diarrhea. Okay, got it. I'm never gonna be able to pronounce that word, no matter how many times they say. It. Well, maybe a couple times. Oh wait, that's Amber. What was that? Watch yourself, stranger. <clears throat> There's some errant magic out here. Really. I hope you don't mind me saying so, but you look like someone who's good at cleaning up messes. I've got a big one for you. If you're up for it, I'd pay you for your time. But I need someone quick on their feet. This mess is turning into a crisis. Um, what's going on? I was experimenting with a spell while my mentor, Magister Eren, was away. But the magic went awry. If it doesn't get dealt with, it's going to spread beyond this area and harm a bunch of innocent people. I can't fix it on my own, so I need help. Okay, just tell me what's uh, what I could do to help. I need to develop a counter spell, but first the protective wards around the area need to be restored by someone other than myself, so I don't taint the magic. That's where you come in. Like I said, if you help, I can pay. Okay, I mean, the only payment I really need is you. That sounds weird, but you know what I mean. Uh, I'll help you reset the wards. Hold still. You'll need this unless you want to spend the next few hours as a sheep. Not as glamorous as it sounds. And here, take these crystals. You'll need them to restore the wards. The first one is in the meadow just up the hill to the north. Okay. What do these wards normally do? Mostly they serve to keep errant magic inside Tordoriak's boundaries. You know, the standard three points of protection thing. Sure. Unfortunately, my spell kicked those wards in the teeth. They're not protecting anything now. Uh, so why can't you restore these wards by yourself? The spell I created <clears throat> has my magical mark on it, if that makes sense. There are certain types of magic that can be affected by their creator, intentionally or not. Messing with forces already attuned to you can have unpredictable results. So, if you tried restoring the, ro the wards, it might make things worse? Exactly. Magic is powerful and great and all that, but... It can be pretty sensitive. Fussy, Magister Irin likes to say. And since my spell is already wreaking havoc across Tordreok, I'd rather not take any unnecessary risks while fixing it. Uh, I mean, I guess. Who are you exactly, though? The name's Ember. Well, technically, it's a nickname, but it's all I use. I'm Magister Irin's apprentice. I think he regrets taking me on sometimes, but <laughs> he's got a big heart. He saw that I had no formal training and told me to come here to learn. You know, I'm getting a different vibe from what I was told about her. 
we, we're still early on in the quest line, but I was always told that she was like a hot mess, quote unquote, and that she's like a troublemaker and everything. But she seems like a sweetheart. I don't know. I'm kind of intrigued a little bit. But where is he exactly? <clears throat> this is Tordreok. There's a big wizard's tower. You can't miss it. I've been living there with Magister Irin, plus a few people who keep up the grounds and the tower itself. All of whom have been affected by my spell, I guess. Okay, so really quick, I'm sorry. Kind of uh, forgetful. Remind me what I need to do again? All you have to do is place those crystals I gave you on the three protective wards. It'll be easy, I promise. What will you be doing? Mostly trying to keep anything with ill intent away from you. My errant spell seems to be affecting the creatures around Tordoriak in all kinds of ways. Things that were once docile might be a little, um, grumpy right now. Like that bear that just died. Goodbye. Okay, so we have three crystals. Let's go discover this way shrine really fast since it seems to be literally just right here. Wait, where to go? There it is. Okay. So we got the we got the way shrine. And our quest is literally right next to it. At least one part of it. I'm going to cast that one ward well. restored. Let's go fix the next one. It's in the glade just west of here. West. Got it. Restore the West Glade. This one seems closer though. Oh no, that's that's Ember. Is somebody here? Oh god. She scared me. Or that wolf scared me, I mean. Wait, hold on. West. So it's this way. Dude, I'm so I'm so hyped, man. I, I'm so ecstatic. Today was a freak of nature though, yeah, with the release of High Isle though. I play on PCNA. And today is the, as I'm recording this, is the release of High Isle. And, uh, hold on. Here we are. I'll make sure <coughs> nothing gets in our way while you place the warding crystal. Will do. Oh, you're a natural. Maybe you should have been Magister Eren's apprentice. Maybe. No, but, so the game released, and it was only live on the servers for, uh, for about an hour, hour and a half-ish. And then they went down. They went down for maintenance, right? And it went down for maintenance for so long. It was ridiculous. Like it went down uh, like around 7 in the morning, my time. And it didn't go up until almost uh, about 5 in the afternoon. So it was a long time waiting and waiting and waiting and... Whatever it ended up coming, so. The last one. Let's get this over with quick. I'm done. The wards. Let's talk outside. I need to figure out what to do next. We'll do, Ember. I'll meet you outside then, my girl. Let's go. Yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a, it was bad. It was really bad. And every two hours, they kept on saying that it was gonna be up and stuff like that. It just didn't work. Okay. Hello. I know my rogue spell is to blame for most of the weirdness happening around Tordreok, but it almost seems like these damned moats are becoming dangerous. They're doing more than just mischievous magic. Ugh, fish biscuits. I need to figure this out. Fish biscuits? Sure, why not? Uh, why would they turn dangerous? <clears throat> I'm not sure. The moats aren't new. They're always hanging around Tordreok. I think they're drawn to places like this. But there was nothing in my spell that should have made them act malevolent. And there are a lot more around than usual. Okay. Should we do something about them? Yes. I can make traps to contain them, but I'm still worried about their behavior. While I work on the traps, could you head into the tower and look to Magister Eren's things? He might have a book with more information about the moats. Yeah, for sure. I'll go search his stuff in the tower. See if you can find anything in the tower about the moats. I'll meet you there and start on the traps. Sounds like a plan then, Ember. Dude, did she just disappear? Crap. I saw that way too late. Dude, I can't wait to get Ember. I mean, uh, not Ember, uh... Well, Ember too. Relax, Holdressa. I'm working on it. You better work fast, because when Magister Irin... What the? Oh! She turned into a guar. <laughs> All right, that was a little funny. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I'm starting to see her quote unquote hot mess side. She's gonna open up to us. So this says above, okay. I saw stairs going down uh going down and up. Wasn't 100 percent sure. Talk to Amber already? Where is she? Oh, she's downstairs. I'm coming. You in here? Did you find anything useful about the moat? See. I don't know what I found, but I found some. The traps. Once we set them up, they should take care of the moats. Then I can sort out the livestock and hold Dressa. And at some <clears> point, create a counter spell to fix everything for good. Did you learn anything useful? I mean, I found a book that mentions a wind spirit associated with the moats uh, in this area. Oh, I read that one with the wind sorrow lady, right? Mm -hmm. what sure. If my spell disturbed her, and that's why the moats are acting up. That's troubling. And also a problem for future Ember. Let's focus on one thing at a time. Or two things, actually. So, I guess we're gonna go kill her? Maybe? Which are? The traps are finished, but the livestock and Hildressa are still a problem. I want to figure out a way to return them all to their natural forms before the illusion does any damage. Could you set the traps while I do that? Where should I set them? Here. I'll mark some places to set the traps. They're in a pack by the work tables outside. While you do that, I'll figure out how to fix the livestock and Hildressa. Then I can work on my counter spell. Meet me by the livestock pens when you're done. All right, I'll go set out the traps. Good luck setting up the traps. I'll meet you by the livestock pens when you're finished. Will do. I kind of like her, actually. She seems sweet, but mischievous, you know? But who knows? We're just starting. I do love Bastion, I might, I, I will say. Alright, so now we gotta set up the traps. One's right here. Haha! -ha! Another one's on this side. Seems easy enough. Oh god. It would be nice if I could just jump over that. But I can't. I can't do that. Is it just a full circle around the place? I think it is. I think that's all we're doing is just setting up a perimeter around this building. Or actually, it's a tower. It's a pretty cool looking tower, actually. Me likey. Whoa. Whoa, that is dope. Oh, shit, that scared the... <laughs> oh, I was not expecting it to explode like that. So that's all four. Meet Ember at the Livestock Shed. Why is everyone dancing? All right, let's get you two back to your regular chicken self. Ha, oh, I knew it would work. Run along, lady. Oh, she fixed them. They were originally chickens. You're back. The traps worked, didn't they? See, I told you I know what I'm doing. Mostly. Speaking of which, I think I figured out a way to return the livestock to their original forms. How? <clears throat> I made something. I know it looks like a spoon, but, well, technically it is a spoon, but I enchanted it. And I call it the Spoon of Undo. <laughs> I just tested it on those chickens. It removes the illusions perfectly. The Spoon of Undo. Alright, we'll just go with that. Uh, why is it so important to remove the illusions from the livestock? Isn't that obvious? Normally I wouldn't bother, but illusions can be disorienting and cause terrible headaches. I don't want any of the animals suffering while I come up with my counter spell. Oh, and Huldressa. I suppose I don't really want her suffering either. I suppose? <laughs> what can I do to help? Here, take the Spoon of Undo. If you could run around and fix the livestock and Huldressa, that will give me a chance to finally whip up this counter spell. By the time you're finished, I'm sure I'll have something figured out. The Spoon of Undo. That sounds so stupid, I swear. Uh, I'll take your enchanted spoon and help the livestock. Uh, you go work on a counter spell. Just look around for people making animal noises. I'm sure they won't be hard to find. And tell them I'm sorry when you change them back, would you? As for Holdressa, I'm all in favor of leaving her at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Kind of. I don't think she's kidding. Just saying. How does the spoon of a do work exactly? <laughs> it sounds cute when you say it. It's a pretty simple reversing enchantment. 
it should counteract the magic from the moats and dispel the illusion. Basic stuff. Not even I can mess up. Okay. Do you think the animals will let me use the spoon of undo on them? Well, they're still animals. <clears throat> they might run around a bit, but I doubt they'll make it too difficult for you. They're not exactly geniuses. Personally, if I was a sheep and got turned into a human, I think I'd go off on an adventure. Uh, can I ask you where, uh, what you were trying to do with your exper with your experimental spell in the, in the first place? Whoa, I could not talk at all on that one. <clears throat> I wasn't trying to turn animals into people, I swear. Uh huh. I had a theory about animating the inanimate. One of Magister Irin's texts gave me the idea. Hmm. That's probably why he locks so many of his books away, now that I think about it. Animating the inanimate, so what does that have to do with animals? They are animate. Um, what are, uh, what will Magister Erend do if he returns before we fix anything? Well, I'm hoping to avoid that scenario. But if it does happen, I'm not sure. He's an odd one. I'm too old for him to punish, and he's not really the type to dole out discipline anyway. I think he'd be disappointed, which is so, so much worse. Why do I get the feeling that's exactly what's going to happen? I'll be in the tower working on the counter spell. Come find me when you're done. Dude, Ember's so freaking cool. She's cool. Restore the cr cows? No, come back here. Spoon of Undo. Oh my god, look, it's Bessie! Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. Where'd you run off to, buddy? It's so weird watching men run around acting like cows. That Well, those are goats. Or sheep or whatever you call them, I don't even know. Goat, goat sheep. Yeah, that one. We'll just, we'll just go with that one. Hey, you! Very nice. So now, find and restore, restore Haldressa. I thought she needed a spell. Unless she already concocted her spell. And we're going to meet Ember there with Haldressa. That's also a possibility. <clears throat> There's the Guar. Come here, Haldressa. Oh, man. She's going to run. Where are you running to? I thought, I thought it was going to go right. Go right to go left. Where are you going? Haha! -ha. I guess this works on her too. Was I? Was I just a guar? Oh, I thought she said West Side. This is all <laughs> Ember's fault. I was about to say, calm down, thug nasty. All right. So into the bill, find Ember in the tower. <clears throat> well, she's trying to do the spell above. Oh, there she is. I've run into a problem. Of course you did, Ember. What can I do to help? I have good news and bad news. The good news is that I've nearly finished my counter spell, but I need to find a tome called the Mirrored Way to complete it. I know Magister Irin has it, but it's not with the rest of his books. That's the bad news. Uh, why is that bad news? Because if the Mirrored Way isn't with the rest of his things, it's probably locked away in his arcane library. The library he specifically forbids me from entering. The tome I need has to be in there. Without it, I can't make the counter spell. Well, what should we do? Magister Irin has warned me not to enter his library a thousand times. But these are special circumstances. <laughs> there will probably be some magical traps inside meant to keep me out. So I'll need your help getting the book while I deal with them. How mischievous exactly is she if the guy needs to put up traps just so that she doesn't get tempted to go in there? In interesting. I'll help you get the book. Once we find the mirrored way in Magister Irin's <clears throat> library, I can finish my counter spell. I just hope the old man wasn't serious about putting something dangerous inside to keep me out. <laughs> he was definitely kidding. Had to be. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Dude, I really like I like everything about Ember except her hair. That is horrible. What like why why that hair? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think of her hair. I personally don't like it. Just saying. Uh, what kind of magical traps do you think we'll run into? Not sure. I picked the lock on the place as soon as I figured out he didn't want me getting in there. 
He's since put up protections and told me to stay out <laughs> unless I have his permission. I'm sure he's got some kind of ward or barrier set up. You were able to enter his arcane uh, library just by picking the lock? It wasn't hard. Mages like Magister Irin tend to think in very magical ways. They'll put magic reinforcements over every inch of a place. But forget, a few pins and a good ear can foil them. And to be fair to him, I'm a very good lockpick. Okay, so how did you get the uh, so good at lockpicking? Necessity. I wasn't exactly raised in the lap of luxury. Not even in the lap of genteel poverty, for that matter. You get good at things like that if you don't want to be hungry. Or caught by guards or angry merchants. So she doesn't want to get caught. Got it. Follow me. The library is downstairs. Okay. After you, Amber. Whoa! I can fly. Give me just a moment to pick the lock. All right. Let's get in and out as quick as we can. Sounds like a plan. Me. Lip. Oh, there's no That's map. Anything. Maybe the old man was bluffing. Oh, shit. Fish biscuits. <laughs> scared me well she's trapped uh that was specifically targeting me I'll figure out the way down you just focus on getting the book well I got it first try the then mirrored way you got it. now let's get out of here before I set off something else that was easy enough I love it when it works out for the best Time saver. Mr. Erin really didn't want me getting in there, huh? I have to admire the dedication. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that spell scared the hell out of me. Oh, the old man had it in him. He had something to target me specifically. What a sneaky old goat. <laughs> Good thing I had you with me. You managed to get the book, right? Let me see it. Yeah, here, take it. Let me take a look. Hmm. Mm -mm. No, nope, not that. That would be bad. What about this? Oh, here it is. It's Amahan is Exis, not Gahan Amexis is. <laughs> Good thing I checked. See? That's personal growth right there. <laughs> what does that even mean? Two different arcane glyphs. They do entirely different things when written and pronounced aloud. The second one is what I need for my counter spell. Now all that's left is to get to the old ritual circle and cast this. I'll need your help again. Yeah, of course, whenever you're ready. The counterspell should set everything right in Tordreyak. Things will be just as Magister Irin left them, and I won't have to face his furrowed brow. I'll need your help at the ritual site. Casting a spell this big is a two-person job. So why can't you count cast the counterspell here? The old ritual circle is a place of power, and I'm going to need all the help I can get. I plan to draw on the magic there to help strengthen my counterspell. Magister Irin told me about it. This probably isn't how he wanted to implement the lesson. Yeah, I don't think so either. But whatever. Do you think that Winstrow's spirit is actually here? <clears throat> Maybe. Old tales and myths always start from some truth at some point in time. The moats around here seem to be affected by more than my spell, is all I'm saying. I always expect the worst. I find it helpful. Okay, so what do you think we might find at the ritual site? If luck is with us, maybe just some irritated wildlife we can deal with as we've done before. Or some of the bolder moats. But if there is some truth to the ancient tales, then maybe we find some sort of really cranky wind spirit. I bet we're going to find some cranky wind spirit. The ritual circle is just up the hill to the north. I'll meet you there. Okay. Oh, wait, why did I go this way? I have to go upstairs to get out. OMG, okay. So there's the door. So we should be... It kind of feels like we're already getting towards the end of the quest. And if that's the case... Uh... Oh my god. Why is this happening to me? If that's the case, we're gonna get Ember soon! The ritual flames. There's three around the site. Okay. After you, Amber. Amber heard. <laughs> Light the three ritual flames here. I'll get the ones on the altar. 
Oh my god, it's Winstrow Sorrow. Hit him! Or her! Very nice. Good job, Bastion. As always, you're the real G here. Oh wait, was I supposed to do something? Oh yeah. So I gotta light the ritual sconce? I don't even know how to pronounce that, man, to be honest. So it's just two of them? That's all I see. Oh no, there's one right there. So three. Yeah, three. Okay, so those are three. We should be able to see it materialize. This looks like a donut. I don't know, maybe I'm just hungry. Okay. So I that was the she did the did it. <laughs> Come on, let's get back to the tower. I'm confused. That was were just fireworks. But she seemed very excited. It was actually adorable to watch. To walk under these conditions, I was turned into a guar. A guar! Of course, full dresser. I promise to address the situation. See that you do. Oh, he's back. I knew that was gonna happen. Didn't she? Well, let me speak to your associate first, Ember. Uh-oh. So, you were <clears throat> witness to the events here. No. And as I understand it, you had a hand in bringing them to an end. For that, I thank you. And if you'll indulge me, I do have a few lingering questions. What in the world happened? Uh, I feel like I'm snitching on her, but well, Ember had a spell that went array. <laughs> I don't know what I awry. expected, leaving her to her own devices here, even temporarily. Ember and Trouble are old friends. I can still feel the repercussions of this spell gone... Uh, Awry, as you say. <laughs> Do I have you to thank for rectifying it? Well, Ember already had an idea of how to fix it before I got here. I just tagged along. I see. As trying as she can be, she truly is a talented mage. She can be impatient. But given her natural inclination to magic, it's understandable. I always knew I was perhaps not the best teacher for her. What do you mean? I took her in because I knew I couldn't leave someone as skilled and impulsive as her to her own devices. But I have neither the time nor aptitude to teach her properly. It's my own failing. Speak to her, would you? I must collect my thoughts. Okay, I'll talk to Amber. <laughs> Don't worry. Amber isn't in any trouble. While I am not pleased about my traumatized cook, I... I must concede that everything is back in order and the consequences of Ember's magic weren't dire. Still, I must consider what to do now. Is Ember a difficult student? I don't mean to give the impression <coughs> that Ember is incapable of learning. That's not the case. She's a bright mage, one of the brightest I've ever seen. Everything I've taught her, she's taken to like flame to parchment. But therein lies the problem. How so? Just like a flame, Ember wants to devour everything around her. Her appetite for knowledge is ceaseless. Uh, that's good quality in a mage, but not necessarily one I'm equipped to deal with. By my own admission, I'm methodical, cautious, by the books. And Ember isn't. Exactly right. Got Ember it. Ember needs someone who can keep up with her. Someone who thrusts themselves headlong into adventure so that she may temper herself and her magic beside them. This Perhaps guy. When I was younger, I could have been that for her, but not now. He seems like a good dude. Thank you. Hey, so, you. Let's talk while Magister Erin collects his thoughts. Will do. I thought Magister Erin would be as mad as a wet dragon, but he looks amused. It's probably because he's wanted to turn Holdressa into a guar at some point. He just won't admit it. And the fact that we fixed it all before he got here helps. Uh, do you think he will pu uh, push you harder at your magic studies now? Well, I've been thinking. I'm grateful to Magister Eren, but sitting and reading about magic has little appeal to me. This whole thing just proves <coughs> to me that I'm too restless here. I want to do magic, not just study it. 
go on adventures, see things. Uh, are you saying you want to leave toward the di di diarrhea? I think it's time. I've been given good training here, but I still have a lot to learn. For me, the best teachers are curiosity and experience. I learn best by doing. So I need to get out in the world and continue my training. You know what? I can relate. I'm, I am the same way. I learn by doing things, you know? So I'm with you on that one, girl. Uh, so what's next for Ember the Sorcerer? Ember the Sorcerer. <laughs> I like the sound of that. But that can come later. First, take this. It's not much, but you deserve it. I think we made a good team today. If you ever need a sorcerer who has your back, let me know. <laughs> We'd have some fun. So for the record, normally it actually has an image of Ember right here because a part of the uh, reward is that you get her as a companion. But I actually completed it. Uh, just rush through it as fast as I humanly possibly can uh, uh, with my main character, right? Didn't get any of the story or nothing. I just rushed through it. I wasn't even paying attention, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, so there's that. Hey, but we have Mr. Ember now. I'm grateful for your teaching <gasps> and your patience. But I think it's time for me to move on. There's too many people here. The world is an excellent teacher for one of your talents, Ember. Do write me occasionally. I should go pack my things and say goodbye to Holderessa. <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> okay, so let's get her. Al allies, companions, Ember. Where's she at? Where's she? Is this my Ember? Everyone, Tamriel's best duo is back. Okay. You, everything all right? I want to give her. I already have an idea. Of an outfit that I want to give her. That is the the cat. What is it called? The cat's eye. I think it would look pretty good on her. Or night eye or something. I think I could just put eye here. Your queen's eye. There we go. Yeah, she looks great. Oh, and then I still need to give her a mount. So let's give her a mount. Do I even have any good mounts? Let's give her a feline. She's wearing all black. I think probably the Nightfall Sench uh, Saber Cat would probably be the best for her. There's a black lion like this one, like the Pride Lion and the White Lion, that I think would look pretty good too. Yeah, that, that looks good. Nice! Looks great! Let's go!